So I can still maneuver through day-to-day -day life pretty, pretty regularly um, because I still have my dominant hand. Uh, but, you know, as far as just like, you know, I'll be going to reach for something and I realize, you know, basically my, the whole left side of my body, I don't have any access to anything because I can't grab anything. These past two months have been the start of a new life for Kendrick Norton Jr. His old life, often immersed in football, is now a vivid memory. A two-year starter at the University of Miami, he made an all-ACC team his junior year. Yeah, so I love my time in Miami. A lot of games and stuff. A lot of big games, especially my last year, the Notre Dame game, Florida State game. Just a lot of priceless memories. In 2018, Norton was drafted in the seventh round by the Carolina Panthers, spending most of that season on the practice squad before being signed to the Miami Dolphins roster in December. Headed into year two, Norton was ready to make his biggest NFL impact yet on the Dolphins' defensive line. I was really excited about going out there and being able to play and try to make myself or carve out myself a role on the team and going out there and, you know, being able to make a difference in the impact. I'm Dade County Police and Fire. What is the address of the emergency? Oh, no, it's from 836 going on to 826. There's a car flips over. There's a man whose arm is bleeding very severely. July 4th, early in the morning, Norton was driving home with his girlfriend, Kira when he made contact with another vehicle, spun around four times, and flipped. It was just like boom, and then I just remember just, you know, getting, you know, we were tossing and turning, and then, you know, we just landed upside down. So the car was smoking. I'm like, babe, I think this car's about to blow up. We need to get out of the car. So mind you, we're on our flip side of the car, and he's like, okay, he kicks my door open. I was laying on my stomach, you know, trying to, you know, maneuver through the car. Uh, to get to the window and I tried to do a push-up to, you know, lift myself off the ground. And um, I tried to do it and I fell over on the side that, uh, that I was missing my arm. And I crawl out of the car, he crawls out behind me and I look and say, where's your freaking arm? And he says, stop playing. And he looks down and say, <gasps> And what's wrong with it? Is it bleeding? It's literally missing. Like, the, the, half of his arm is missing. I'm letting the fire department know that he's missing an arm, okay? Yes. Try to try to apply try to apply pressure on that wound, okay? You said it was a rollover? Yeah, rollover. He, he lost his arm. He's conscious, but he lost his arm. They're helping him right now, but he lost his arm. And as he's looking, some of the um, on goers that were driving, I was like, no, sit down, relax. You don't need to worry about that. Because it's like literally veins. Everything's just pouring out, gushing. It's like a horror movie. Norton lost half of the blood in his body before the ambulance got him to a hospital. Kira, however, stayed behind with a mission. Has anyone located his arm? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me ask. Okay. Has anyone found his arm? Sir? No, they haven't found it, eh? I got help on the way there, okay? Kendrick left before me, so I'm like, I'm telling the people, the people are like, oh, go in the ambulance with him. No, I'm not leaving his arm. So therefore, I waited until the tow truck came to lift the truck so we can get the arm from underneath the truck because it was crushed underneath. So I'm like, I'm not leaving until I get the arm. So I wait 20 minutes to go in my ambulance. They send me another ambulance, and then the arm goes in the ambulance with me. Later that morning, Kira arrived at the hospital carrying Kendrick's left arm in this red bag. And with the hope, doctors would be able to reattach it. I just couldn't leave it like that. In the middle of the street, no, no. Kendrick remained in a coma for two days. When he woke up, doctors said his arm couldn't be reattached. I don't even remember first waking up from the coma. I haven't even heard a lot of stories about it. I haven't talked about it much. Was it difficult to get out of that period? Not really, just after they said that, it just kind of hit me instantly, like, you know, yeah, you know, they're right, you know, you're alive, that's the biggest thing, because what's an arm when you have your life? He spent 14 days in the hospital, where he underwent six surgeries and lost 30 pounds. You know, Coach Flores being there, uh, almost, I, I saw him almost every other day, he really encouraged me through the process. He's an important piece of this team. Um, and I just wanted him to, to, to know that I was there for him, um, that I personally was there for him, and that this organization was there for him. 
This tragic accident took part of Kendrick's left arm, but it didn't break him. Two and a half weeks after the accident, he was already back in the gym. At home, he and Kira found an outlet to normalize their new life. Follow back up with you guys. Like and share, subscribe. You cut me off? Their own YouTube show. I'm gonna say one and a half, and we don't call that half, we call the mini arm Little Ken. So if you guys hear me say Little Ken and Big Ken, Big Ken is him and Little Ken is his arms. Little Ken is a fun name. How did that come about? Instead of saying no, I don't like that. So we're like, we're gonna name this Little Ken. How has he embraced that? Has, have you seen him have fun with Little Ken? Yeah, oh my God, yeah. He's around the house dancing, him and Little Ken. It's just fun. So as long as it keeps a smile on both of our faces, he's like down for whatever. I never asked, you know, why, why it was happening to me because, you know, it could have been worse. So I never would ask why me. It was just in the plans for me and I'll take it and roll with it every day. You know, we already, our life's already written for us. So I feel like we're just following the script. So you feel like this accident was part of your script? Right, I feel like this is part of my script. It's, it's part of my plan for, for my life. And you're okay with it? And I'm okay with it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.